With the launch of Season of the Witch, we finally received the fix reducing the amount of ammo bricks that you get with double special loadouts. I have since done some testing post-patch, and in this video I'll show you what has changed and whether or not double special will remain viable from now on. The information in this video is going to be based directly on the research that I've done in this video, which covers the game's ammo mechanics in a lot of detail. If you haven't already, I'd recommend watching that video first to learn about these mechanics. As far as I can tell, the way that these mechanics work remain unchanged, and the fix that they employed has more to do with parameters such as how often they occur. So let's take a closer look. First on the list is the juggler mechanic. The juggler mechanic remains the same, where you'll still see more heavy bricks while you're holding out your special weapon, and vice versa. The number of bricks that you get from the bad luck protection system remains unchanged. Next, we have time-based bricks, where ammo bricks have a chance to spawn that escalates over time. Before this patch, in a typical combat scenario, time-based heavy bricks would take about 1.5 to 4 minutes to drop, and time-based special bricks would take about 1 to 1.5 minutes to drop. Post-patch, time-based heavy bricks can now take upwards of 5 to 8 minutes to spawn, and time-based special bricks can now take about 2 to 2.5 minutes. As a very rough general statement, we're seeing about half the amount of time-based bricks now compared to before. But, the time-based brick mechanic isn't so much responsible for the previously broken ammo economy of double special as this next mechanic, ammo phases. Ammo phases are randomly occurring periods of time where you have a drastically increased chance to receive ammo bricks of a specific type. Ammo phases have been responsible for the majority of ammo bricks that you would get when using double special. Prior to this patch, heavy brick phases on average would yield 5-10 to 10 bricks over the span of roughly 1.5-2 to two minutes. Now they yield about 3-5 to five bricks over the span of roughly 45-75 to 75 seconds. Special phases before would yield roughly 20 to 35 bricks over the span of 4 to 8 minutes, which post patch has gone down to about 15 to 20 bricks over 3 to 4 minutes. Ammo phases seem to occur about equally as frequently as before, but I do not have a big enough sample size to check this. If you want to learn more about ammo phases and how to use them to your advantage, once again, I'm going to advertise this video right here. So overall, with both time-based bricks and ammo phases taken into account, over a testing period of 2,000 seconds, I received 47 heavy brick drops pre-patch, which went down by 62% to 18 heavy bricks. For special bricks, it went from 111 bricks to 91 bricks, which is around an 18% decrease. So while the amount of heavy bricks has decreased drastically, it's actually very nice that it was only an 18% decrease for special bricks. Because a big reason that people ran double special is because oftentimes special weapons just performed better than primary weapons in most scenarios and there wasn't much reason to use a primary weapon at all. And the downside of limited ammo wasn't much of a deterring factor because of the absurd amount of special ammo that you would get to sustain the playstyle. So now that I'm seeing that the average decrease in special brick drops isn't deal breaking, I expect that the double special loadout configuration will still remain sustainable, although you do have to be a lot more mindful of your ammo economy now. I personally was on a double special loadout for much of the contest mode Crota encounter and rarely ran into any ammo problems, if any at all. I did use my throwing knife and grenade quite often, which demonstrates that effective use of your abilities will of course be very helpful with sustaining your ammo economy. I hope you found this video useful, and I'll see you in the next one.